Hey everyone, if you wanted a great visual analogy for Theresa May's premiership, then you could do worse than watch a news report about those kids stuck in a cave in Thailand. They're trapped in, in the dark and at risk of not making it to the end of the month, and that's just the Prime Minister. Mind you, at least those kids have been living under a rock for the past week, so they haven't had to watch the round-the-clock build-up to a football match. Very similar to those other football matches you get on a Saturday, by the way. If you want to watch Harry Kane kick a ball around for 90 minutes in a match where half the players aren't from England, then the premiership does start in a little over a month's time. So that Brexit deal though, what is it? Well, you're best asking a civil servant in Brussels. They're apparently the ones that have written almost every page of it, seeing as how Mrs May is apparently devoid of ideas. No doubt the interesting parts will be hidden in the appendices, like when Gordon Brown managed to destroy all the final salary pension schemes by hiding extra taxes in the small print at the back. Will there still be EU regulations for companies not trading in Europe? Who knows? Will the UK get majority voted into migration quotas? Your guess is as good as mine. Will Guy Verhofstadt get majority voted into getting a new haircut? I doubt even the Germans could pull that one off. Right now though, let's play a little game. Imagine that Theresa May has just handed you a wrapped up birthday present and you don't know what's inside, but the wrapping paper does have the vague shape of a bottle of wine and it's the same sort of weight as a bottle of wine. Then you open it up and it's an empty bottle of wine. But Theresa tells you that in spite of the critics, it's actually a fantastic gift because you can use it to decant wine to it at a later date if you need to store some. Perhaps the idea is that this deal is purposefully designed to fall apart so that we can get a no deal Brexit, something that many want, but which is politically unsellable to the public at large. Except, unfortunately, Theresa is not that sort of a leader. Remember, she spent the weekend at Checkers, not chess. Anyway, see you next week. If you like, subscribe.